guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Belserik. If you don't know, I make YouTube videos about everything and anything about my life. And this is vlog number six. Let's get it started. said this is vlog number six and this one's gonna be a little bit different because there's gonna be two parts the first part if you don't remember from my last couple of vlogs I asked you guys to guess what was in the actual white box that I was sending out it was something very important not for me but for my brother so I'm gonna hand it off this portion of the video to my sister-in-law her name is Lydia Lydia you can explain it all here we go hey guys I'm Lydia Seth's wife and Michael called me a few days ago saying he wanted to send Seth something in the mail and conspire with me and make it a surprise. So the mailman just came and I'm gonna go grab the package soon and then Seth will be home from work in about three hours or so and we can surprise it with him then. I am beyond excited because literally anytime anything comes in the mail, Seth is so excited. Pretty much the most person, the most excited person I've ever seen when it comes to getting mail of any kind, really. So I can't wait. Let's go get it and then we'll give it to Seth and see his reaction. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, let's go. Hey, love. I got a package for you. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, my brother. Mm -hmm. My brother. <laughs> package to you. This is your package. No. Is no. I happen to know it's for you. <laughs> You really duct tape it. Your cheeks? Your cheeks? I'm smiling. You got your new phone, love. Oh, Brand new. That's crazy. Yeah. Why? He loves you. Yeah. What do you want to say to him? Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? I love you. Thank you, Zoe, for letting me know. All right, guys. So as you saw in that white box was an iPhone 10 XR. I bought that phone specifically for my brother. So I gave it to him. If you guys saw, there was a sock in there. I put that <laughs> sock in there so that if the male people accidentally dropped the box or whatever, it would cushion the fall and stuff like that as well too. So yeah, it was an iPhone XR. Leave a comment below letting me know if you actually guessed it correctly or if you even thought it was that as well. But yeah, I gave that phone to him because he's starting up his whole media thing as well. If you don't know this, he has an Instagram account. I'll link that below as well. That's a lot of motivation stuff. I put that in my last video as well. The first question that came in, I don't know if it's a question or a statement, uh, but this person asked, you forgot the E in YouTube, but why are you a butt face? Uh, I don't have a butt face, I don't think. <laughs> I think she was just kidding or Maybe not, I don't know. But here's a side note. When I was in high school, I had a crush on a girl that had a butt chin, or what are those things called? I don't know. 
but yeah. <laughs> Why am I butt faced? Because I can be. Next question says, do you follow any teacher YouTubers? And this question comes from a teacher as well. I don't specifically follow YouTube specifically that are teachers. I never really had the inequity or, yeah, I don't know what that word was, <laughs> but I never had uh, the chance or even had like the idea to, to look up uh, teacher YouTubers, but I will look them up. Uh, when it does come to actual YouTube for teaching, I go on there to look up things that the students can look at, look at at home and they can reference to. But specific YouTubers that are teachers, I do not follow any. But if you have any, leave them down below so I can go check them out because I would really be interested. Uh, the question is from Patrick is Navajo and I'll leave his stuff down below as well is what's your favorite kind of music to listen to with your daughters? Andy Mino and Disney songs. But shout out to Patrick because now you guys for real go check out his stuff because his stuff is pretty cool. He's a power dancer and vlogger and all that kind of stuff. I follow him on a regular basis, so go check him out. The next question comes from TC15 underscore YouTuber. The reason why I'm shouting him out as well is because he has a YouTube channel. He's in a gamer, I guess. But yeah, go check him out. But his question is kind of a statement and question. He says, life is simple. Question, how is your life? My life's pretty simple and going pretty good. Would you ever consider running for public office, something like a councilman or mayor? Yes, I would. First of all, I would run for something on uh, the Navajo reservation because that's where I'm from and that's where I wanna make an impact on. And once I make impact here, then everybody on the Navajo reservations that's impacted can make an impact on the world. I'd love to be the Navajo Nation president. Now I can't be because I don't know, I don't speak Navajo fluently and that's one of the big requirements and big things that you need to know. I get it, I understand it, and I guess I just need to learn it. But if I had any kind of power in any kind of uh, public seating thing, councilman, mayor, Navajo president, chapter president, I don't care what it is, but if I'm ever in a position to do that, the first thing I would do is I would focus on education. A lot of people that are sitting on the actual, the actual like board and stuff like that as well, none of them, well look, let me, let me rephrase that. A lot of them have zero experience as a teacher or working in a district. And I understand that their hearts are there and they wanna help, but a lot of times their decision making and their their mindset isn't teacher based. It's really anti-teacher based without them knowing. Like don't blame everything on the teacher and that doesn't make sense to me. I would bring attention to that specific issue like people that are on boards on the education system, they should have some sort of like education background. They should have taught in a district or they should have their degree in some sort of statistics in schooling or whatever superintendents. I don't know, it's just weird to me that people that want to make decisions about schools don't have any like investments prior to that. They kind of just want to be there to be heard, to be honest. But yeah, that's my rant. <laughs> Sorry I'm ranting on that. But that's the first thing I would change. Oh, and the reason why I would change that real quick, I would change that because once we impact these students in a more powerful, impactful way, they can actually make a change. Because I'm tired of people saying that people should come in here to the Navajo Reservation and change it for us. No, we gotta change it for ourselves because if we rely on the government for so long, we, we kinda know what happens when we let the government in and we all know what happened last time. The government came in and we helped them out. Anyways. Next question, it says, would you do a collaboration with me? Yes, I would. As long as I'm in your side of the Navajo reservation or part of the world, I will hit you up and say, hey, I'm here, let's do something. I'll have an idea in mind, you might have an idea in mind, we'll put them together and we will collaborate. But yes, I got asked that question like, Couple times, will you collaborate with me? Yes, I'll collaborate with everybody as long as I'm in your specific town, city, part of the reservation, I'll let you know and yes, we can collaborate. Next question, 
What are your YouTube goals? Now my biggest goal and the kind of, not end goal, but the goal that will lead on to like further things on in life is I wanna get my channel to a point where there's enough subscribers and enough sponsorships for my channel so I can quit teaching in a public setting at a you know, kind of like traditional setting kind of thing and be able to, to start teaching this, like how to vlog, how to use a camera, how to use editing stuff. Like I want to be able to, this channel to get to a point where I don't have to rely on that part of teaching, but I'll be able to teach this skill to the younger generation because honestly, this is a skill that they're going to need in the future. Like if they want to, if they don't go to college, they, they can rely on skills like this and that's another way for them to actually um, express themselves and actually get their voice heard as well. So this is something I, that's my, honestly that's my biggest goal is to get my channel to a point where I can rely on that so it can fund that specific part of my life is be able to teach the skills to the younger generation so that they can learn it and they can have their voice heard and express themselves through media, vlogging, music videos, whatever they need. As long as they have the skills, they can do with whatever they want. But yeah, that's my biggest YouTube goal. Thank you. All right, so the next question says, top five favorite native YouTubers. Also, what's your goal this year for YouTube? I'll start with the second one because it's easier to answer. Uh, my first goal for YouTube this year is by December 31st, 2019, so it's the end of this year, I want to have 6,000 subscribers. So right now I'm at 1,000, 200 or something like that. I want to quadruple that and get to 6,000. Wait, is that quadruple? Either way, I want to get to 6,000 subscribers by then, if not more. And that way I know that there's progression every single time. And one thing I saw is when I was vlogging those five days, my subscribers went up quicker. Maybe because there's more content. I don't know, maybe they like the content better. But when I vlogged for five days straight, I saw my subscriber mark go up quicker. I mean, it wasn't on by a lot, but every day there was at least two or three subscribers in, yeah. So that's my goal for the end of this year. But the five that I'm gonna give you are five that I actually invested in and they invested in me and I hung out with them and they kind of uh, interacted with me in some way or somehow. Uh, the first one's gonna be Michael Begay. Him and his girlfriend, Juliana Brown Eyes, we met up in Page. We hung out for like three fourths of the day. We started like at seven o'clock in the morning or so, all the way to like five or six at night. So we hung out for the day and we just got to chill, hang out, talk. And that was so, one of the like, I don't know, funnest, most fun I've had. Yeah, the most fun I've had in a long time because I was able to express to them things that I can't express to other people, like just video and like how much time it goes into video and stuff like that as well. And they taught me a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. They are so filled with knowledge when it comes to camera, editing, and all that kind of stuff. They are like, they are super smart. All right, the next one would be Norman. I don't know if you guys, he hasn't been uploading on a regular basis because he's like a big boss now, like a big honcho at a store or whatever <laughs> and that's super cool too but every time he does put out a video i watch it because once again i spent a day with him a couple months ago almost like a year ago we hung out and he's actually came to my house a couple of times all right guys so the third one would have to be natalie franklin if you guys don't know that's like i talk about when everybody asks me <laughs> why or how you got started i always go back to this story because I've always wanted a YouTube channel, like I told you guys before. And in my head, I always made excuses, but like I told this story to a lot of people and I told her this story as well, so it's not anything new. But I remember I was watching YouTube. I don't know how I came across her channel, but I watched one video and in that video, she specifically said <laughs> that she was from Cameron. And I was like, what the heck? Like. In my head, I was like, dang, this girl's from Cameron. She's from the same place I'm from. She's living the dream that I want to live. And it hit me right there. Like, she made no excuses and she just did it. And at the time, she was on her iPhone. 
And that was like, okay, I need to start because she made no excuses. But yeah, she's the third one. And guys, she's like famous. So if you don't know her, <laughs> I mean, you better go, you gotta check her stuff out. She's pretty cool. She uploads on a regular basis as well. And yeah, she's just super cool. Like a lot of you guys probably came from her channel because the last, the two videos I did with her, every time I do a video with her, like my subscriber mark goes up more and she knows that and I thank her for that every single time. So Natalie, if you're watching this one, thank you again. All right guys, so the next one would be C-Man Vlogger. Like this guy is consistent. He is always putting up a video every couple of days. He is so cool. If you guys don't know, my intro is made by him. I reached out to him. I said, hey man, I like what you're doing. I have this idea. Uh, can you do this for me? And I'm willing to pay you. And he's like, nah, man, don't worry about it. I got you. And so I told him what I wanted and I told him what song I wanted. And let me tell you guys, that intro is everything that I ever can think of. Like he hit it right on the dot. He is super, super cool. And he is just one of those, like he goes on everybody's, he watches everybody's videos that are native and he comments stuff on there and you know that he's watching. So C-Man Vlogger, if you're watching this, first of all, thank you for my intro once again. And thank you for commenting on all my videos because if you are a YouTuber, you know when people comment, you're just like, all right, they watched it, you feel, you feel like appreciated or whatever. But C-Man Vlogger, you guys gotta check him out. He's super cool. Go check him out. But yeah, C-Man Vlogger. The four? Now four, where am I at? Four, five, let me see. How many is that? All right guys, so the next one would be Matt Yellow Horse. Matt Yellow Horse. I used to watch his stuff a lot. Like every, I liked his adventures and stuff like that. But Matt, when you started getting into all that like uh, haunted house stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Some of them I skip because I get scared easy, man. Uh, but Matt Yellow Horse, so if you're into like spooky stuff, uh, go watch his channel because he does all like ghost hunting and stuff like that as well. So the next one would be Chastity Lincoln. If you guys don't know, I did a video with her as well. And we went to the lava caves and that was super fun. And just seeing her channel grow as well. She was one of the first people as well with Natalie and Norman that I actually did a collaboration with. And she is such a cool person, just like all the other people. But yeah, Chastity Lincoln, she has a lot of videos and she's becoming more consistent as well. And she does different types of videos with her family. So go check it out, she's pretty cool. <laughs> so if you're native and you are a YouTuber, don't feel like I'm discrediting you in any way because I didn't say your name. I know there are a lot of you guys out there and we're all trying to make it. The question was that I had to pick five and the five that I chose were the five people that I actually sat down with, talked to, had conversations with outside of the camera and on the camera obviously we just kind of, we became friends and all that kind of stuff as well. So those are the five. And if you are any of YouTuber, leave a comment below letting, letting us know that you what you do and we'll go check it out. Cause most likely I've seen your videos. I've seen a lot of native YouTuber videos. I just, I had to choose five. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to do more than five, go check out uh, Natalie Franklin's channel because she did one. C-Man Vlogger did one. A lot of those guys did top fives as well. But yeah, honor, honorable, men, yeah, honorable mention, the AZ family, just getting into them as well. And Cordell Granger, go check them out. So this last question was asked several times, but in different variations. And they were just asking <laughs> if it was just me and my daughters, like, is there anybody else? Nobody else lives in my house, but myself and my daughters. So yeah, yeah, it's just me and my daughters. They do see their mom though. So it's not like their mom's out of their life. They see their mom when they need to see their mom. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right now. Thank you for all your questions. If I didn't get to your questions, I'm sorry. If I do another Q&A, which I'll probably do later on down the road or whatever, I'll try to get to all of them. But if I got to all of them, this video would've been longer than it already is. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so that you're notified whenever I come out with a new video. And if you want to check out any of those people's channels, go ahead and look at the link below and stuff as well. And if you have a channel, let us know and we'll go check it out as well. And if you have any other questions, ask below and I'll get to them as well. Until next time, until next time guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.